sunrise at the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah. Gives a picturesque view and brief cool temperatures. But as sun and temperatures rise, so does the adrenaline. Are we driving? Course 1, 4, 1, 3, 4, 7 in the mile. 213.641, 591 to the mile. The Bonneville 200 Mile an Hour Club has been around since 1952. As kids, we wanted to go to Bonneville. We didn't know that you could. We thought that was a far off land that only big kids get to go to. You can't really describe it. It's not really comparable to one definite thing. You're just out there by yourself with what you know God's giving you, the nature, the beauty of the world. Racing enthusiasts have been coming to Bonneville for nearly 60 years to test their limits and achieve legendary status. There was a gentleman that raced here last year that was uh, 83 years old. He got in the club and he read up some statistics on it. And it's harder to get in the 200 mile an hour club than it is to climb Mount Everest. There's been more people climb Mount Everest than have gone over 200 miles an hour and set a record. This is where the little guy can show up down here and race and actually have a chance to set a world land speed record. Beautiful day for it here at Bonneville Salt Flats. Second time out ever. I'm crapping myself. They're living their passion. They're out here doing what they've been working on for a year. Everybody's excited, everybody wants to talk to you. So it's the mix between the people, the atmosphere. I definitely enjoy it, I think it's great. The physical beauty of the area, coupled with mind-boggling speeds are only part of the attraction. Teamwork and the aid of fellow racers also help make this event a success. The camaraderie is a big part of it. I have a lot of fun talking to all the guys and gals, hanging out in this 112 degree weather. <laughs> Everybody's here to help. They don't care whether you're in their class or it doesn't matter. They just want to help see you succeed in what you're trying to do. That's the way things are done around here. There's been many a time when somebody comes to me and says, Jim, if you're not doing anything, I need help. And I go work on the car with a guy, and then the guy gets in, gets in the two club. It's a social event kind of mixed in with playing with your toys. Anybody's welcome, and if, if you can't get out here on your normal vehicle, you can stick your thumb out at the end of the road. Somebody will pick you up and bring you out here. It's, it's just an enjoyable thing. Everybody's friendly. But in the world of land speed racing, these drivers know it's not all sugar and spice. When the belts are fastened, the engines fire, the official gives the signal, it's every man for himself. This happens only one full week in August, three days in September by the Utah Salt Flats racers, and then another three days in October put on by SCTA. So you've only got a total of 13 days period that you can race here. It's the challenge to try and come up with something nobody else has done. This is something that we concocted and built all of ourselves. It's pretty small, and to get 180 mile an hour out of it, you're pushing the envelope pretty hard where other people haven't gone. But you have problems, you go backwards, you solve the problems, you go forward. For the serious competitor, it takes time, money, and a great deal of passion. I've got approximately $50,000 in my car. I save up all my money through the winter so I can pay for room and board and stuff for my crew. And then I get a few sponsors from my hometown, and they help me out. So for us, it costs about $4,000 to come down here and spend a week. We know a company. There are people that come out every year, and they stay the whole time. They love every minute.